Welcome back, everyone. Well, I'm sure you've heard of profiles in courage, right? How about when we actually meet someone who fits that description of a true hero? Somebody really demonstrates profile and courage. Well, you might recall that this family was here once before, and we've been communicating back and forth, and we've got some information and some stuff we want to bring you up to date on. So welcome back. This is Angie Ryan, this is Chris Ryan, and this is Sergeant Eddie Ryan. Welcome back, the Ryans. Thank you very much. Thank very you. nice to have you here. Very Thank nice you. to be here. Thank um, you when I met you guys, it's uh, last year, last fall, whenever it was, it's a while ago. You know, I was just really taken with this whole profile in courage thing. And any of you that remember that interview, and I heard from a lot of people about the interview, really just, it, it just points to the fact that, you know, we get faced with different tragedies in our life, right? Yes. We rally together as a family, we rally together as a community, and guess what? We become stronger, right? Wow. That's right. And sometimes that's not an easy path to take. No, it ain't. No, it ain't. <laughs> hey, Eddie, um, I want to just, uh, in case the viewers don't recall that interview, you were wounded in action. You're a Marine. All right. Once a Marine, always a Marine. <laughs> All right. uh, you were wounded in action in Iraq. That was in. 2005. 2005. That's right. And you, you said something to me that really stayed in my mind. It's very easy to understand how that could be the worst day in your life. But you also said something else about that day. Do you remember? You said that it, you felt more motivated. That is the most motivating day of my career. Yeah, I bet. And, you know, you've, you, you've proven it ever since. Um, you're the parents. <laughs> when it comes down to motivation, that, you give that new meaning as yeah. well, right, Ange? Yeah, oh, yeah. 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 You did. Um, now, we had a, a very successful fundraiser. It was last fall, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. uh, tell me about the fundraiser, Ange. Oh, the fundraiser was great. The community came together. Um, it was uh, uh, very generous uh, from a lot of the community folks who had just gathered there to encourage us to help us with finances, to help in any way they could. Mm -hmm. It was a beautiful, beautiful fundraiser. Now, as you, as you know, Eddie, uh, in spite of the seriousness of his wounds, you know, is able to get around, obviously with the help of the family and the community. They live in Lake George, the VA hospital. Chris is in Albany, right? Yes. All right, so, you know, we've got transportation. We have, obviously, medical bills. We have all kinds of issues con concerning this, and community support, too. Right? Uh, so, guess what? You see this shirt that Chris is wearing? It says, tougher than tanks. Eddie, actually, you proved you were tougher than a tank. Uh, <laughs> we, yeah, we're going to have to talk about that. But Chris, uh, give me the background on tougher than a tank. Well, Eddie was uh, wounded April 13th, 05, and a few months later when his Marines came back from deployment, um, that combat tour in Iraq, they started visiting Eddie. And one Marine told Eddie, uh, Eddie, you're, you're tough, because he took two bullets from a coax gun in a tank. Right, right, right. So he said, you're tough, and what did you say, Ed? Tougher than a tank. So he was yeah. joking around a little bit. Yeah. He said, um, tougher than a tank, because, you know, a tank couldn't keep him down. So we're proud of him, man. We just uh, thank God that we have him. Oh, my God, yeah. Yeah, for mm -hmm. sure. Now, uh, tougher than a tank has also become sort of the theme mm -hmm. for this Road race, mm -hmm. yes. road run, yes, right. All right, yes. so you got to tell us about this guy Noah. Noah Cass is from uh, Somers, Connecticut. He served with Eddie for two tours. Yeah, that's in two Iraq. tours we're talking about here. Yeah, right. and he came back and he just uh, he needed something to do. He was suffering from PTSD. Three of his Marines were killed right around him uh, they, when they drove over an IED, and. Noah started uh, dealing with the PTSD through ultra marathons and uh, running these incredible marathons. That's, he, he takes no medicine to this day from the VA. And he called Angie up one day and he told her that uh, he wanted to do his uh, ultimate run from his house to Eddie's hometown in Lake George. And that's a 142 mile run. He mm -hmm. started yesterday morning at 4 a.m. He completed 75 miles yesterday. That's three marathons in one day. 
gets up at 6.30 this morning, and he told the filmmaker he felt pretty loose, and uh, he crossed the border now. He, um, he called us up a couple of hours ago. He was in Hoosick. He crossed the New York border, and uh, he called Eddie up on the telephone, and uh, there, there's been people that have been doubting. I mean, it's 142 miles. And he sounded great, and he says, I'm coming to get you, Marine. <laughs> and he's going to be coming uh, in Lake George tomorrow around noontime. He, the finish line is at Shepherd Park. Mm -hmm. And his phone calls back and forth to Eddie has motivated him just to do this incredible run. He, he dealt with altitude yesterday of over 6,000 feet through the Berkshires. We go to the Berkshires, Chris. Oh, you yeah. know what I mean? As I, yeah. I have trouble driving through the Berkshires. <laughs> and here's a Marine, uh, you know, served two tours of duty with Eddie, who is running this thing in two and a half days or something like that. Now, he's going to be in Hudson Falls tonight, right? Yes. yes. Now, and then tomorrow, obviously, he's going to make it to Lake George. He'll probably sleep over in Hudson Falls tonight. and then Somewhere and then in that area. Make yep. This, yep. Boy, but... That run from Hudson Falls to Lake George at that point, yeah. that, that's a no-brainer, right? Yeah. yeah, and he's got uh, free rooms. We want to thank Super 8, Vinny Crocito. He gave him oh, great. free yeah, rooms. Him and and his incredible family. support from the community. We just want to thank the entire community. Well, you know what? Uh, a couple of things here that we really need to do. Uh, you live in the area. You live up in North Country tomorrow, Saturday. Get up to Lake George. Let's see Noah cross the line. Let's yes. show community wow. support, okay? Yes. Let's get out there and do that. Uh, think about what he's doing. Think about what he faced. And Noah, Noah had something he wanted us to say to you as well, that one of the things that really concerns him, you know, suffering from PTSD, is that it's, it highlights the idea, the fact that healthcare gaps in the VA administration <laughs> hurt our returning soldiers. And that Noah, how courageous is he, no medicine, nothing. He's, he's, he's toughing it out. He's tougher than a tank. Eddie's tougher than a tank. The Marines are tougher than a tank. The community should be tougher than a tank. So get up to Lake George tomorrow. Let's, let's get everybody, bring this guy across yes. the finish line. And again, in this fall, and please come back, okay? Yes. This fall, Thanks. we'll have another fundraiser for Eddie, and uh, we want to get that word out there, and please contribute. Now, you can, you don't have to wait for that, by the way, help eddyryan.com helpeddyryan.com is a website and you can go there find out what we can do to show our respect our admiration and our love for Eddie okay <laughs> let's let's just get that done all right marine Hurrah. <laughs> <laughs> I think, you know, something told me you were going to say that. You know. mm -hmm. Ange, great to see you again. Chris, Thanks, great Jesse. to see you as Thank well, you. pal. Thank, Thank you. God bless okay, you you're quite welcome. It. Thank you. Good. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. To see this interview again, you can head to our website, looktvonline.com.